Hi, I'm Jennifer Tankersley, founder of List Planet. I am here to talk about creating your own home management binder. Um, at List Planet, we have hundreds of lists and planning pages, so perfect for filling up your own home management binders. Um, if you have started one, great. Um, if you have not yet started one, then um, now is a perfect time to figure it out. It's not that hard. And then um, refresh yours if you've already started one and you need it. Uh, maybe you've put it on a shelf and haven't looked at it in a while. Now is the perfect time to get it out. So I'm going to direct you down to our home management binder. And in this binder, you can see that um, it has a clear protective sleeve and um, List Planet has several templates that you can use uh, uh, currently on my own binders. I use home management, I have a meal planner, I have a finance planner, I have a holiday planner, I have a memory journal. So you don't need to put them all into one binder, you can separate them into different categories um, and while you might think, well that means I have to have a lot of binders. Um, I found these binders in a pack, they were on sale however, but in a packet of six at Target for $1.98. <clears throat> so it doesn't have to cost a lot, just keep your eyes out. Um, another thing is that um, they stack nicely in a bookshelf or if you have an office, um, they, they would stack nicely on a wall shelf. Um, so let's get to um, how you might put your home management binder together. Um, again, you start with a binder. Um, I think a one inch binder, which is what this one is, is a good um, width. You don't want it to be too bulky, otherwise you will not want to pick it up. You will not want to carry it around. And that is very important for your home management binder is its portability. Um, so once you get the binder, um, an another very useful supply is the um, dividers, tab dividers. In this case, um, I had these at home, so I just use these. Um, if you, uh, one thing you might want to do is decide on which categories uh, that you would like to use. In my case, I chose planner because it's very important for me to know um, what's going on with my family's calendar and my own calendar and, and my business calendar. So I keep all of my planning information um, here. I have um, a month, just a couple of months. I have two months at a glance. As you can see, these are List Planet pages, so it's very convenient. Just print them out. Um, May, we have lots of special holidays going on in May. Um, and then um, I also usually have a yearly planner, but um, in this case I have not yet um, included it in my binder. need to get to that. Um, the next category I have in here is business. So I have, um, this is the front of our e-planners. We also sell e-planners if you're not interested in having entire um, selection of categories of lists and you just want to focus on one category of lists. For example, you like the idea of having more pages to organize your business, then the e-planners might be a good route to go. Those cost $4.95 each, and then again, they are just one category, but they generally contain an average of 10 to 20 lists each. Um, and in business, uh, there's the table of contents. Um, we have, um, <clears throat> and this is not my business one, I've, I've arranged this um, binder uh, for just for showing, but I um, I have one that is rather profusely filled out with lots of ink and color and all kinds of stuff. But um, things that you need for your business, uh, you put right in here. You fill it out. You refer to it often. Um, I also have home. Uh, lots of things um, when we're considering home, as you can see. I think on this table of contents, um, there are inventories, there are um, home improvements, there are seasonal project lists, there are 
clothing inventories, which my family uses every season, um, cleaning schedules, and um, shopping lists, chore lists. Um, all right, there's an example of a home improvement list. Um, moving on to the next category, the family section. Um, in the family section, we have um, is where I keep uh, each each person's individual information, and uh, in fact, in mine, I have it further broken down. I use also these um, index tabs, uh, which are very very handy. Well, truth be told, um, I use the note tabs, which are similar. However, um, note tabs are completely writable. You can write on the entire tab. Um, but this one is adhesive, so you just pull off the adhesives. You stick it on. There are, there are um, labels in here that you can print out on your computer or you can um, write in, depending on what you prefer. And then you can stick it right onto the page. So in my family, we have one note tab for each member of our family where I keep, uh, where I track their medications and their medical information and their responsibility lists and whatever else that might be individualized, um, school schedules and uh, things like that. Um, lots, of lots of responsibility lists, babysitter information. This, whenever you have a new babysitter, you just keep track of her information or his information and that way when um, you need another babysitter or you need a babysitter again, then you can just uh, take a look at what you have and uh, it will help you remember her rates, her hours, availability. This is a page for instructions to write thorough instructions for your babysitter um, before you leave the house. Um, dinner time conversation quick list. I'm just flipping through. There are so many useful pages, computer rules, our family's daily schedule, um, earning TV time, and the final section in this binder is um, contact informa information, and in this section we would keep track of all the useful contact information that you might need um, at a moment's notice. So we have friends and family in here, both phone and email. We have restaurant, quick list, neighbor, quick list. Um, again, with the babysitters in there. School, bank, playgroups and friends, medical, website favorites, and uh, weekly and mon monthly contact lists in case um, you wanna keep track and set goals for yourself in case you have a lot of people to contact for whatever reason. Um, and and then there you go. You can also include in your um, home management binder, you can include um, other things. You can include takeout menus. You could include um, uh, rates from your local contractor. Say you want a, a job done, um, you can just hole punch it and stick it in. That way you have it there for future reference. Um, there are lots of things that you can put in your home management binder and then you keep it central, centrally located in your home so that reaching for it is never a problem. Um, that's it. I hope that um, each of you will enjoy making your own home management binder. Um, if you have any questions you can always come to listplanet.com and we have more information on that. We also have, as I mentioned, hundreds of lists and planning pages to include in your binder. And thank you.